Hey guys, today we will be looking at equations with variables on both sides. So far, we have just had x on one side of the equation. Now we are going to have x on both sides of the equation. This is new to eighth grade. We're going to be practicing this a lot. So let's talk about how you do that. So the first thing that you will need to do is move the variables to the same side by adding or subtracting the smaller variable. You can move the bigger one and you will get the same answer. You can move either one of them and you'll get the same answer. But the reason I like to move the smaller one is because it creates fewer negative numbers to deal with later on. So you will always see me moving the smaller variable. Once you move the variables to the same side, it's just going to be a two-step equation. You will add or subtract to remove the constant, and then you will multiply or divide to remove the coefficient. Okay, let's look at our first problem. As you can see, I have variables or x's on both sides. So like we talked about, I am going to move the smaller one by adding the opposite. So I like to underline both of the variable terms and I have 5x and 2x. 2x is a smaller one, so I need to do the opposite of 2x or make a zero with it. So that means I need to subtract 2x, and I'm going to subtract 2x from the other x term. I cannot subtract it from the six because those are not like terms. That's why I specifically put it under the 5x. Okay, now let's simplify all this. 5x minus 2x is 3x. I'm gonna bring down the six. 2x minus 2x zeroes out, which is good, and now I'm just left with 15 on this side. And now at this point, now that my variables are on the same side, I just have a two-step equation. I need to remove this constant of plus 6, so I am going to subtract 6 from both sides. And I get 3x equals 15 minus 6 is 9. And then I'm going to divide by 3, and I get x equals 3. So the new step was subtracting that 2x from the 5x right here. All right, let's look at number 2. Again, you can see that I have x's on both sides, and I want to move them to the same side. So I have 2x and I have negative 5x. Negative 5x is definitely the smaller one since it's negative, and I want to make a 0 with the negative 5x, so I'm going to add 5x to both sides. And I get 7x plus 15 equals 43. Okay, now I have a two-step equation. So I'm going to remove this constant. I need to make a 0 with that positive 15 by subtracting 15 from both sides. And I get 7x equals 43 minus 15 is 28. I'm going to divide by 7, and x is 4. Okay, number 3. I have x's on both sides negative 11x and positive 1x. Remember, if we just have a variable by itself, it has an invisible 1 in front of it. The negative 11x is smaller because it's negative. And to make a 0 with negative 11x, I'm going to add 11x to both sides. And I get 27 equals 12x minus 33. And now I'm at the part that's just a two-step equation. I am going to remove this constant of negative 33 by adding 33 to both sides. And 27 plus 33 is 60 equals 12x. And my last step is to divide by 12. And I get that x equals 5. Okay, number four, again, I have x's on both sides, negative x and positive 2x. The negative x is definitely smaller, so I am going to do the opposite of that, which is adding x to both sides. 
I'm going to bring down the negative 29 equals 13, and 2x plus x is a positive 3x. I need to remove this constant of 13 that's added to the 3x, so I'm going to subtract 13 from both sides. And negative 29 minus 13 is negative 42. And my last step is to divide by 3. And negative 42 divided by 3 is negative 14. Okay, number 5. This one looks a little bit different because this side doesn't have a constant. It's still going to be the same process though. I have x's on both sides. I need to get them on one side. The smaller one is 3.2x. I need to make a zero with the 3.2x. So I'm going to subtract 3.2x from both sides. And I get negative 16 equals 0.8x, and I'm going to divide by 0.8, and negative 16 divided by 0.8 is negative 20. Okay, number 6. I have x's on both sides. I have 2 thirds x and I have 1 half x. We want to move the smaller ones. Sometimes it can be hard to tell if what fractions are smaller. So remember in our first unit, whenever we were comparing fractions, we looked at their decimals. So 2 thirds is 0 0.6 repeating and 1 half is 0 0.5. So I know 1 half is the smaller one. So that's the one I'm going to move. So I'm going to subtract 1 half x from both sides. And 2 thirds minus 1 half is a repeating decimal, so I'm going to convert it to a fraction and I get 1 sixth x. I'm going to bring down the plus 8 equals 2. Okay, now I want to remove the constant. So I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides, and I'm going to bring this over here. I get that 1 sixth x equals negative 6. Now I have to remove the fraction coefficient, which I'm going to do by multiplying by the reciprocal of 6 over 1. And I get x isolated and negative 6 times 6 over 1 is negative 36. Okay, on this last one, I have a model. I need to write an equation and solve. So on this model, I have three x's on the left side. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, negative seven equals, I have negative two x, and then I have positive one, two, three. So my equation will be 3x minus 7 equals negative 2x plus 3. Now I need to solve that equation. I have x's on both sides. The negative 2x is smaller since it's a negative. So I'm going to add 2x to both sides. And 3x plus 2x is 5x. That zeroes out and I'm left with 3. Now I'm at a two-step equation. I want to remove the constant. So I'm going to add 7 to both sides. And I get 5x equals 10. And then last step is to divide by 5. And I get that x equals 2.